Hey everybody, welcome back to Bald Up Genetics. My name is Lloyd, and if you like reptiles, then this channel is for you. If you can hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so every time we upload a video, which usually is on Friday, that will alert you to when we do that. And of course, as always, if you can share these videos, that would help our channel out a lot. Now today we're gonna to be talking about the 2021 breeding season. So let's roll that intro and we'll get started. Whoa, 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 whoa. First, first before we get started, I do wanna say Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope everybody had a safe and happy New Year's Eve. Uh, any parties that you went to, if you just stayed with your family, shot off fireworks, went out and watched fireworks. Uh, you know, we, we did it. We got through 2020. We're on to a new year. And of course, that means in the ball python world, breeding season. So let's get into that intro and let's get started. Again, happy New Year's, everybody. season it's uh you know 2021 is coming up you have to think about what you're going to want to do um what your pairings are going to be uh have some of your females gotten up to size have your males gotten up to size and you have to sit down put out a plan put out a plan that's going to work for you and for what you want to accomplish in the new breeding season for us here at bald up genetics it's it's a couple of things one is going to be uh, making animals that we want to make uh, you know I can go out and I can buy some some different genes but you know I'd rather I'd rather make them right now in this moment we want to really just have the fun of, of making our own combinations instead of going out and buying them um, so that's gonna be one thing I'm gonna take into consideration is that uh, another is I'm going to take into consideration what is out there that the public wants, that the common pet person wants to have. So, you know, I'm going to make combinations this year that are going to be Blue Eye Lucy's, um, bananas, albinos, um, piebalds, because those are the ones that sell really well out in the market. But then I'm also going to make more higher end stuff. You know, I have some Desert Ghost things going on this year. Um, we have some pairings for some um, dream sickles, uh, some clown combinations. And that's the other thing I'm going to take into consideration too, is more higher end stuff to go into to a more uh, specific marketplace. So we're going to go over um, making things that we want to make here and, and hold back things that are going to sell very quickly in the marketplace and then the other ones that are going to be for more high-end um, investments for people. You know some things in considering when doing a, a planning for your, your breeding season is what projects you want to do. Uh, what projects are you involved in? Do you want to be involved in? Um, for us here at, at Bald Up Genetics it's we've kind of leaned heavily towards the recessive side of things it just that's the way it's worked it's it's worked out people you know they say hey you need to focus on a project a certain gene you know maybe two or three projects and really focus in on that um and that's great and that's some great advice um i i like to juggle things i like to have more than one thing going on at one time uh, i've done that m most of my career uh, i like different things coming in uh, and trying to figure things out. Some of the, the projects down the line that I want to have developed here are, um, you know, my ultramoles. I want to get into bamboo and I also want to get them into piebald and eventually have a, you know, a bamboo piebald ultramel. Uh, I like what Orange Dream does in ultramel. Um, our Desert Ghosts, uh, right now I'm shooting for a uh, super pastel, super inchy Desert Ghost. But eventually, you know, I'm getting that into other things. I'm going to get that into clown, into piebald, um, and see where else from there we're going to go. Uh, genetic stripe, you know, the, the door is open for genetic stripe and what we can do with it. So there's a lot of nice projects that I'm thinking, you know, four, five, six years down the line. Um, and that's, that's the thing that, you know, really gets us going in this hobby 
is thinking about all these genetic variations and what we can do down the line. Not, not just this upcoming season, but several seasons from now. Um, so that is part of what goes into making our decisions on what our breeding seasons are going to be. Uh, and especially in this 2021 season coming up, there's going to be a few new things that we're going to be making. There's a few things that I'm trying out and we're going to see what gets produced. Um, but yeah, it's, this is the time of the year that gets, you know, egg laying seasons, exciting, egg cutting seasons, exciting, or hatching seasons, exciting. Uh, but also prepping for all this, getting ready, you know, figuring out what males I'm going to put with what females. That's also the other exciting part of the year too. Uh, okay. So we've talked about going over your plan, what you want to do with, with your snakes. So now we're going to implement that plan. We're going to start moving some bells around. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone through into their boxes and I've, I've added some water just to boost up the humidity a little bit. Um, outside right now is a good choice too because we're having a weather shift. So we're having weather come in. It's going to rain pretty soon. So the barometric pressure has changed. So they feel that in the room. Uh, so now is a good time to start putting your males in with your females so you can get some good locks. Uh, so I'm just going to start grabbing males and start putting males in. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, right now I have my uh, eyeball male. And he's going to go over here with our lavender albino female. You can see I've already got the water down and stuff, so I'm just gonna put them in. That's all you do, just put them in. You could respray them again if you wanted to. Uh, close it up and then whatever, um, whatever way that you wanna mark moving your mails, be it a, some kind of colored paper clip, um, a card, whatever, you, you go ahead and do that. For me, for right now, the system we have is very basic. Uh, I just have the male and then I go ahead and I put it down on where the female's at so I know that he's in there. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to mark in the paperwork. Who's been moved, the date that they've been moved, and then as the next couple days go by I'm going to check to see if they have locks. I'm going to know if they have any locks or not. Um, so, um, the next one's going to be our, our Super Pastel Inchy Desert Ghost male. I'm gonna go over here to this female. Then I'll go get his tag and put it with the female. So you just keep going through through however many you know many males you're gonna be moving. And you just go ahead and start doing that. So um, the best advice, again, is try and do it around a, a weather change. Uh, whenever that barometric pressure is going to drop, it seems to trigger them, and they're going to they're gonna want to breed more. And with this parent, I have a banana in with this normal female because I need to figure out what else is going on with this banana. As you can see from his coloration, there's something going on. Uh, I wasn't told that there was anything else mixed in with him when I bought him but I'm sure there is, so I have them in. And as of course you can see, they have a nice lock right now. So hopefully in a few months, after some eggs are laid and we start to get some hatching, we'll find out what else is in this male. So going back to talking about also high-end stuff, um, we have our pairing here of our pie balls that are het lavender albino. So of course we're gonna try and make dream sickles. Uh, this year um, they just got finished locking uh, so we'll take him out in a little while and then in about a few days we'll ultrasound and see what her uh, follicle growth is and he won't go back again and again until uh, she has at least 13 millimeter follicles and then he'll go in a few more times uh, inside this Okay, so we're gonna put this uh, pastel champagne head albino in with an albino female. So I just grab him up. She's right there on top. There you go. 
Yeah, so that's just a little bit of what our 2021 breeding season is going to be. Uh, we are really looking forward to it. We're excited right now. You know, it's it's the it's just the beginning. You know, we've got these pairings going on. Um, the next few months, we'll keep doing that. We'll ultrasound. Uh, we'll go over a video on ultrasounding. And yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with your own breeding seasons and what plans you're coming up with uh, and what kind of combinations you're going to be making. Uh, so that's about it. So until next time, remember to uh, subscribe to this channel, turn on those post notifications so every time we upload a video, you guys will know. Usually that's going to be on Fridays. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.